Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the cemetery of Bahauddin Naqshbandi. And uh, this is from the structure and the cemetery from the uh, 13th century at the start of the Naqshbandi. Silsila. Uh, and so what you can see here, it says Bahauddin Nashbanj Architectural Complex that was recreated and restored with initiative from the first president of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Islam Karimov, in 2003. So it seems like, you know, there is a large following of the Nakhshbandi Silsila in uh, Uzbekistan. We are in Bukhara, almost in Bukhara. And therefore, I stopped here to make a clip of the Naqshbandi complex. This seems to be very big actually. And uh, he is known as the Pir or the Hoja in Turkish. I'm sure there is Madrasa. SubhanAllah. Occupy your heart with Allah and your hands with work was the saying of Bahauddin Nakhshband. So all over the place there are his sayings of this Sufi Silsila. Here's another one. No one can be a Muslim until he governs, he or she governs their greed. Very, very why saying so uh, this is very beautiful it reminds me of some of the silsilas in india but that also has or it started from these places Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, uh, when you get inside here, uh, there's a huge complex and a compound in which people come here and sit and pray and make dua and stay and learn. This is the Maqbara apparently. Haza al Murqada al Manawar. Hmm. SubhanAllah. Yes. Uh, the big Sheikh Bahauddin Nashbandi in Uzbekistan, Bukhara or Bukhara, Uzbekistan. All the people here making dua. In Urdu we call this Haz and all these nice uh, structures and the masjid and the compound at the complex of Bahauddin Nashband. May Allah give peace in the hearts of those who are not at peace. Being peaceful is the best thing that a person can have. Those who do not have peace do not have anything. SubhanAllah. 
If you look at the designs and the artwork, I should probably go back and make a little clip of the interior compound and show you the artwork and the ceilings. That would be nice. Here. Yeah. So the pillars are made of wood, or the columns rather. And then also the ceilings and the engraving in them, it apparently looks like it's all wood. Very pretty. And each one of these squares actually are different uh, from the other. So they're not the same as what I'm trying to say. All the designs are different. And it seems like how they uh, write in the Masnavi, the uh, couplets of Rumi are also written here in uh, Farsi language. All I can read here is Nure Chashm Admi Afrad Afrad Af Afradan Shuz Asht Akhar. So my Farsi is not that great. All you see is probably the couplets by Bahauddin, Sheikh Bahauddin Nakhshband on the message to humanity and his views of life and his love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, etc. Very, very pretty. See how they're engraved, the pillars and the columns there. And it's beautiful, complex. Indeed. One thing we noticed in Uzbekistan is everything is just is speak and span. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul a'uzu bi Rabbin nas, Malikin nas, Ilahin nas. Min sharril waswas al-khanas, al-lazi waswisu fi sudur nas, min al-jinnati wa nas. All the surahs and verses from the Quran. People are praying Fatiha, which we will also pray here after I finish making this clip on the Sheikh who actually derived the respect of the people even after their deaths. This is the beauty of the people who have done good work is that even after they pass away from this temporary world, people remember them in many good ways. They come here and they pray for them. They come here and they pray for them. And then they also pray for themselves. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that because this person was one of your beloved slaves based on your love for him, please forgive me as well. People make all kinds of prayers to Allah. He's closer to the juggler vein. One can always ask God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever the one's desires are. So there's no restriction in Islam about when, what, to ask God, because God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and knows everything that's within our deepest heart. And with the conviction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and listens to us when we ask Him. So those prayers that are asked with humility Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he listens to people's prayers. So one should ask. Ask who? Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the shuyukh. 
because no one can give one anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gives abundantly to anyone and everyone that he desires but one must have to have that humbleness and humility in asking whatever we ask. Some of the little souvenirs from here. In Uzbekistan, Bukhara, Uzbekistan. And some of the books also I see here, all written in Uzbek language, which is close to Russian. And a mix of when you talk to them, some Farsi, some Turkish, and some Russian. The way it's written, it looks like Russian. Here is the souvenir magnet, that's Bukhara. And this is the uh, shrine where we are at. And this is the, uh, also the shrine, the bigger shrine. So, and this is the complex in which there is not just a masjid, but the beautiful old minaret, very pretty, very unique, and very Bukharish rather than Samarkandi. We are not in Samarkand anymore. That you can see. And there's also uh, the Madrasa. Some of these other metallic souvenirs. That if you go inside, you could watch. I mean, there's shawls and there are a lot of other things here that one could buy. very large indeed it keeps going and there's also there's orchards there's also the uh probably sarai khana where people used to stay when they would come here very big indeed and uh, probably that is the residence of the imam or the people who manage this nice, beautiful complex. You can feed the ducks here. You could also enjoy the company of the many Sufis who have come here and are staying here, who have walked and treaded this path of Naqshbandi Silsila as well as the path of the complexes of these exceptional highly regarded and powerful saints who left a mark on many people to come very pretty indeed that's the entire complex A lot of people come here and enjoy and get the peace and get their prayers answered as well. Keeping in mind that the prayers are made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to God and not to the Sheikh or Peer. One should always remember that the giver for Muslims and for all humanity in Islam, the giver is God, and not anyone else, that one God that we say, Allah is one, and He is the one we should pray, He is the one that we should always ask. So, keeping in mind all these uh, 
messages from the Quran is very important to understand what we are saying and reading or asking. This is very huge. So as I re-enter the compound from the other side of the complex, I'm going to uh, stop here in a while hoping that you will someday come here. This is the mosque for the ladies on the left hand side and the mosque for the men is on the right hand side. Here is the stairs that one can take to go up the minaret. And this is for the muazzin who used to go up there to give the azan. So now because of all these loudspeakers and all these new technologies and apps and everything else that continues to come our way, you will not see a muazzin go up the stairs and give azan, but rather they would simply be automatic azan in many places that comes on as soon as the time starts for a certain salah. So having said all that, I'm going to stop here hoping that you enjoyed my video. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa